to the transgender community, I am more than willing to give you an audience, but you will not summon me. I am not bending to anybody's demands. Comedy. Isn't comedy great? Isn't comedy one of the best things about living? It's being able to enjoy jokes, enjoy a, a comedian telling you a funny story, going to a comedy movie. I love comedy. I really do. And that's why I'm, of course, always saddened when comedy is under attack. As we've been talking about recently, one of the comedians under attack is the great Dave Chappelle. One of the greatest, if not the greatest, the greatest of our times. I mean, Dave is a very funny man. But there are people out there who don't agree. There are people who want to cancel Dave Chappelle. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Will Dave Chappelle be canceled? Will he back down? We're going to find out. But first, I want to talk about my sponsor, Winner Winner. Now, something you might not know about me is I love crane games. I really do. Like, this is a plug where they were like, do you want to plug our thing? I'm like, yes. I love these these apps. I really do. And what it is, is a app where you can actually play crane games from your mobile device and win real prizes. And this is, again, this isn't like a, a virtual thing. Like, if you win the prize, they send it to your house. I actually, in my garage, this is a true story, I have bags of stuffed animals that I've won from these apps because they are so much fun. There's all sorts of stuff you can win. They've got toys, collectibles, stuff for your house. And if you're even one of the big winners, you could even win yourself a PlayStation 5. Who doesn't want a PS5? Come on. And I gotta say, the thrill of winning one of these prizes is uh, indescribable. Here's one of my wins right here. All right, I think right here? Okay. Well, here we go. go. What? No, no, no! No, this is my first try! Are you kidding me? First try! Heck yeah, dude! And if you're really into the app, I gotta say, why don't you sign up for the VIP treatment? That way, all the shipping is free. Pretty soon, you're gonna have a garage full of stuffed animals just like me. It really is a ton of fun. I want you to check out the link in the description. Download the Winner Winner app and give it a try. I, I love it. I'm addicted as heck. Now let's get into the video. Now, of course, we all know Dave Chappelle recently had his new Netflix special, The Closer, where he came out a bunch of different groups, a bunch of different ones, but one in particular took some serious interest in what he was saying. Interest. They were upset. They were mad. Not all of them. And I got to be clear. I've spoken to many members of the trans community who say, we get jokes. We understand what jokes are. We're not upset about this. But there are some more vocal people in the trans community who say, what Dave Chappelle was wrong, the things he said were bigoted, and this man is preaching hate speech. And I, I think you guys know my stance on this. I don't think Dave is a hateful person. I think that if you have a problem with what he said, well, you know, there's there's room for a dialogue about it. But frankly, the rhetoric around it is a little heated. I mean, the people are calling to cancel him. And I know there are people out there who say cancel culture isn't real, and maybe Chappelle is too big to cancel. But I don't think they just want to cancel Dave. I think they want to cancel comedy in general, or at least certain topics in comedy and frankly i don't agree and we'll be talking about that probably probably throughout the week uh, if not more it's a very important topic now dave says that because of his appearance uh he now says uh, that his documentary distributors are canceling deals that they made with him so dave ha has made a recent documentary uh which is about the uh, let's see canceled documentary i believe it's about uh, either a camp or a uh some sort of summer program he runs. Uh, and he's been bringing it around to, to film festivals. And, and at first, I mean, film festivals were like, of course we want your documentary, Dave Chappelle. You know, <laughs> why would we not want one, one of the greatest comedians of all time to film his or uh, screen his documentary at our film festival? And now he says, after the film I made was invited to every film festival... But now with this controversy having come out, they began disinviting me from these film festivals. Now today, not a single film company, movie studio, film festival will touch this film. Dave Chappelle says, thank God for Ted Sarandos and Netflix. He's the only one who didn't cancel me yet. Now, that's a very interesting thing. Ted Sarandos is the uh, CEO of Netflix. And he famously came out as, as this hubbub was going on. And he said, you guys, we have controversial content on this platform of all stripes. Uh, we're not going to pull the documentary. We're not even going to put a little, they wanted to put a disclaimer on it that says, warning, this contains, I don't know, hate speech. I don't know exactly what disclaimer they wanted. Said, no, we're not going to do that. We don't do that with any of our other content. 
We're a platform that cares about free speech and free expression, and frankly, we're not going to censor the great Dave Chappelle. Uh, that was a brave statement. He did walk it back a little bit. He said, I, I, I regret some of the things I said. Thankfully, though, he didn't walk it back entirely. It seems like Ted Sarandos still has Chappelle's back. But now, Dave Chappelle, and I, I won't play this clip, but if you want to find it, uh, Dave Chappelle stunted. He came out just a few days ago and talked about being canceled. Uh, it's a long clip, though, so I think it's easier to just go through the article, grab what he said. Uh, and here's the Washington Post. Dave Chappelle has said he's been canceled. And a transgender activist says he continues to mock us. Mock you? Okay. <sighs> Again, I, I'm reading what he says, and they sound like jokes. <laughs> I think this is more of, guys, you got to lighten up. So let's, let's take a look at this. After weeks of silence amid criticism, Dave Chappelle has now said that he is not bending to anyone's demands. This is, of course, because transgender activists, or this is what Chappelle claims. They're saying they never asked to meet with him. But, but I believe that they did. I could be wrong. Uh, Dave's saying... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll meet with you, but but you're not going to summon me. You can't you can't just expect me to appear. I guess he's saying they didn't ask for a sit down. They're just kind of expecting him to show up and you know bend the knee, apologize for everything he's ever said. Again, as da I think Dave says it very well to the transgender community, I'm more than willing to give you an audience, but you will not summon me. That's a strong that's a strong set of words. It's saying I'll listen to you, but. Listen, guys, you think you're in control of everything. You think you can tell everybody what to do. No. If we're going to have a d discussion, uh, you have to understand I'm, I'm giving up my time. I don't answer to you, but I am willing to listen. Uh, Chappelle also laid out conditions off to the laughter and cheers of the crowd. He said those who meet, want to meet with him need to watch his special, his special from beginning to end. What, a, what an ask. What a big ask. Dave. You can't expect people to actually watch the thing they're mad about. Are you new to the internet? We don't do that. When you get mad at an article or mad at a person, you, you don't get all the information. You just get mad. What a, what a horrible ask that he's asked this people. Uh, he gets to choose the time and place of any meeting. Seems reasonable. He's a busy man. And lastly, you must admit that Hannah Gadsby, a lesbian comedian with her own Netflix special, is not funny. Well... Some people say they feel bad for Hannah Gadsby. I don't know if you've seen this lady. Uh, says she's a comedian. I'll be honest. I haven't watched her comedy. I've heard what her comedy is. At some point, I'll make time for it. But I've heard it's very preachy, very sensitive. Uh, it's not the kind of comedy I typically seek out. I don't make time for a lot of comedy specials. I'm a very busy guy. So when I have time, I go, well, I'm probably, if I have the choice between Hannah Gadsby or Chappelle, I'm going to make time for Chappelle. But I feel like for fairness's sake, I should make time for Hannah, and I will try to. But uh, the, the reason he said this, of course, is because Hannah came out and uh, was coming against uh, Chappelle. Let me see if we have that quote in here. I believe we do. Maybe it was in a different article where she basically said, again, this Ted Sarandos and Netflix, he said, we have comedians from all across the spectrum. We have Hannah Gadsby, who I think you know represents different communities. Hannah came out and said, uh, how dare you, you know, reference me in relation to Chappelle. I won't be your shield for him. Basically saying, uh, I mean, I keep looking at comedians going, guys or gals, whatever, whatever you want to be. You got to You got to stand up for comedy in all forms. When Chappelle's under fire, you got to realize they'll, they'll come for you. I don't care if you think you have the best politics in the world. I don't think I don't care if you think you're a, a saint. At some point, Hannah Gadsby, you'll say the wrong thing. You'll have the wrong opinion. Me and her have the same glasses. Now. I got these glasses as a joke. They're like for a character. And I keep accidentally wearing them and I look like a grandma. I look like Hannah Gadsby right now. Maybe more of a beard. Um, Hannah, you got you to gotta step out for Dave. So here's the thing. Dave has said, I'm willing to talk to the transgender community, but he is holding his ground. He said, I think he feels that they've uh, fair, unfairly miscast him. They didn't watch the special. They've said some things which are just untrue about him. And he said, well, I'll show up and talk to you, but let's be fair. You got to watch the special. Hannah Gadsby, you're not funny. Okay. Well, I mean, he's a comedian. It's funny to call out another comedian. That's funny. Uh, here's here's the thing. Again, we have these groups. I, I can't believe. Here we go. Glad condemns the jokes as harmful. The National Black Justice Coalition calls on Netflix to remove the show. 
I mean, these are big organizations. I can't believe GLAD, which used to be a very common sense organization. Like, well, we just want rights for uh, for homosexual people, LGBT. We just want, you know, our rights and our happiness. I used to go, well, GLAD's, GLAD's a great organization, of course. And now they're saying uh, we want to remove a comedy special. Guys! What, did you win all the important battles and now you've moved on to censoring comedians? Well, you know, you got the right to gay marriage and you, you don't know what else to do with yourselves? I think there's still problems out there for gay and lesbian, bisexual. All those people still have real problems. And their problems are not comedy. I find this absurd. Uh, let's see. Oh, here is Hannah Gadsby. What she said. You don't pay me enough to deal with the real world consequences of the hate speech dog whistling you refuse to acknowledge. Again, that's being leveled at Dave. She's saying he is dog whistling hate speech. Hannah, if you're a fellow comedian, I don't understand comedians who don't have other comedians' backs. I really don't. I've seen comedians go at other comedians. And I, I feel like we should all be in this together, especially now that we're, we're under fire. They're trying to take our voices away. Now, here's where I go a little bit nuts, is that we have, we have Dave going under all this. And rather than talk to his supporters... As I've said, I'm out here supporting Dave. I'm in the news. I don't know why no left-wing organization will talk to me. Washington Post isn't coming to me. CNN's not coming to you, MSNBC. Why don't I? Why can't I go on these shows and say, well, here's why I want to stand up for Dave here, what I think is important. No, they're only finding people who disagree with Dave. And it seems very one-sided. In an interview with the Washington Post, Ashley Marie Preston, a trans activist and media personality, Said she watched the video Chappelle posted. Again, this this video where he's saying, I'm willing to meet with the trans community. Says she thinks he's not genuine. He's mocking us, she said. He's, he's a comedian. Mockery is part of it. Some of you did not watch the special, and that is deserving of mockery. If you didn't watch the comedy special and you're mad about it, that is deserving of mockery. It's funny. Uh, Preston said she wanted to be with Chappelle since his comments about trans people in the 2019 special Sticks and Stones calls his most recent response unfortunate and a squandered opportunity. Now, here's something I want to say. Uh, this Ashley Marie Preston. Now, I'm not going to name names, but I have, I've been in touch with some members of... I don't know what you want to call them. It seems like there's two trans communities. There's one trans community, which, again, is coming out against Dave Chappelle and comedy and everything else. Seems like there's a, another trans community, which uh, kind of is in the background. Like they're they're worried about this cancel culture and everything else. But I've had them come to me and they say, uh, people like this Ashley Marie Preston, they're not really out here fighting necessarily for trans rights. Maybe they believe they are. I'm not sure. Um, but a lot of them think, you know, people like this are kind of just out for press. Uh, now, I don't know. You, you could say that about anyone. You could say I only went to the protest for press, which is so, what some people are saying. I'm, I'm going to argue that I really do care about comedy and I would have showed up regardless. Um, but he, he basically said, uh, I, I won't use the exact words, but they were very strong, said that this is kind of a fake person. And I, I really want to talk about, let me see if we have the image here is um this person who claims to be this was her at the protest let me see if i can bring up that image uh, th this was her at the protest had very flowery words uh you know that we you must stand up for solidarity and we must stand up against bigotry in all forms uh chappelle is hate and hatred cannot stand okay that all sounds great uh but then you have these these tweets from her let me see if i can open this here uh, Latino and Asian businesses need to stop being rude. Uh, why don't you speak F in English? Yikes. I think this girl overdosed. I think her homegirl, uh, drunk, drugged up Asian bitches are a predator's dream. Just cussed that Asian B the F out. Uh, English is my first language, bitch. Uh, just broke my phone on this Asian bitch's head. Why eight? Why are you so mad at Asian people? Why Asian? I mean, this is this is really bad. Now, as someone said to me, they said, "Well, Vito, you can't don't be um don't be hypocritical. I mean, you have to stand up for Chappelle's jokes. I mean, these are these are her jokes." And I'm like, "Yeah, but Chappelle didn't tell people why don't you fucking speak English, you Asian bitch? <laughs> like, that's a, not really that funny. That's just fucked up. I don't think this is a joke." 
Uh, so, I don't know. And look, maybe maybe this person truly believes that she's fighting, you know, the great fight on the trans community side. But it does feel like uh, it's a bit fake. It's a bit performative. I don't think this person necessarily cares about uh, stopping hate. I think she might just care about... I think she cares about herself. If she cares about stopping hate, it's clearly she doesn't care about stopping hate against Asian people. This is very racist. It's awful. Uh, th I love gay men, but this county clerk is an F slur. Uh, oh, my God. So what do, what do we want to say? What do we want to come away from with this? Chappelle is standing his ground. And thank God for it. There's so many people who, when they face down this mob, and the mob is very loud. And the mob can have effect, as we've seen. Chappelle's new documentary. Film festivals don't want to show it. I uh, can't find a distributor as easily as he could. They have an effect. They have power. And sadly, I don't know why people listen to this small group of what I call humorless dorks. They're dorks. These people are dorks. They can't laugh. It's insanity. So I want to thank Dave Chappelle for sanding his ground. I mean, we need him to. I'm sad that other comedians aren't doing the same. I'm sad that, again, Hannah Gadsby doesn't want to stand up for comedy. Thinks that she can determine what the good comedy or the bad comedy is. I don't know. And there's a lot of these activists that are jumping on this, trying to make a name for themselves. Maybe trying to get their own TV special, Netflix special. There's a lot going on. But ultimately, I think we've seen the response I've gotten and the people I've talked to. I think we all know it's going a little too far. We've tried our best to accommodate certain individuals, to give them rights, to fight for you know everything they deserve. Peace, love, and happiness. But their demands have gotten, frankly, they've got, I mean, they want to cancel comedy. Doesn't, isn't that the point you go, guys, you're asking too much. We're not going to cancel Dave Chappelle for you. You got to back off a little bit. I don't know. And I think this community does themselves a disservice by asking for this. Again, I would ask the trans community, look at what your problems really are. Look at who's truly causing you harm. You know, look at look at, you know, people bigots out there who really want to deny you, you know, the ability to get a job, to have a place to live. There is some of that there is, you know, and we need to fight against that. But I would hope you would understand that why, you know, you're directing your efforts on Dave Chappelle. And it's and it's not only a waste of your time, but frankly, it makes you guys look uh, unhinged. It makes you look uh, crazy. You, you should want people to empathize with you, and they're not going to empathize with you if you keep attacking comedy, free speech, Harry Potter. Come on. Pick better battles, trans community. I think, I think you got some good points. You're just going after the wrong people. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? I want to hear from you in the comments. Is Dave being hateful, or are people just, you know, taking what he said a little too seriously? Do we need to lighten up? Do we need to kind of step back and go, guys, why are we attacking comedians? You know my thoughts, but I'm happy to hear yours. I want to have a dialogue. We got more cool videos soon. Don't forget right below, a lot of cool links you can check out. Check out biggestproblem.show, the new podcast I'm doing with Dick Masterson. We're having a ton of fun, and uh, we've been talking about this whole protest situation a lot, so I recommend checking that out. Thanks for coming by. Comedy, we got to stand up for it. Hashtag, we like jokes. That's the bottom line.